There's some breaking news we're following tonight about your health. An alarming new report is out about a potentially deadly infection spreading across America at a frightening rate, and it could be killing more Americans each year in the not too distant future than AIDS. For the first time, doctors have tracked the number of illnesses caused by a drug resistant staph superbug, as it's called, that also goes by the nickname MRSA. A new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association showing that more than 90,000 Americans get sick from MRSA every year, and doctors are calling this number astounding. Just uh, joining us on the phone right now is Dr. Elizabeth Bancroft of the Los Angeles County Department of Public Health, who was involved in putting this study together. How worried, Dr. Bancroft, should we be? I, I think we should be concerned, and I think this study is a wake-up call to public health officials and to medical officials that there's a lot more drug-resistant staff out there than we had realized. What, what's the cause of this? Why is this happening now? I think there's a combination of causes. Certainly, the, the, we're seeing an increase of drug-resistant staff in hospitals that may be due to the fact that people are entering hospitals sicker, and if you're sick to start with, you're more likely to get an infection while you're in the hospital. And there's also a lot more procedures being done on patients, and procedures can introduce the infection into patients. In terms of the community, what we're really seeing in the past 10 years is an increase in the number of infections that people in the community who are otherwise healthy are coming down with infections with this drug-resistant staph, and that's fueling some of the increase in the invasive diseases, the kind that get into the bloodstream. What should we be doing about this? Uh, how do we protect ourselves? I think there's two ways to protect yourself. Uh, most important thing is in the hospital, since the majority of cases do still seem to be occurring from the hospitals. That's doctors washing their hands between seeing patients, making sure they don't carry the bug from patient to patient, and using other well-known techniques that hospitals have only just started using systematically to help reduce the rate of infection in hospitals, like keeping people in isolation, for example, or using a full sterile uh, cape or drape and and gowns when they're putting in catheters or other invasive procedures in patients. Mm -hmm. So that's for the hospitals. For the outside and the general public, there's a couple of things you can do. First of all, again, wash your hands. It's the most important thing you can do to prevent the spread of staph and prevent the spread of really almost any infectious disease. The second thing is to limit the sharing of personal items. So don't share things like washcloths, razors, um, towels, and soap that you can spread the bug from person to person. And the third thing is if it looks like you've got a sign of infection, you have something on your skin that's red, that's warm, that's painful, that's maybe raised a little bit, go to your doctor promptly and get treatment for it. Dr. Elizabeth Bancroft of the LA County Department of Public Health, thanks very much. We're going to watch this story and stay on top of it.